uh, on uh, your words on uh, Just Taylor's performance tonight. I said before it was a great event, it's still going on out there. Um, yeah, uh, it's the first time I've seen Josh Taylor live, um, the Tarzan Tornado. Um, tornado, I think, is the operative word. Uh, you know, just didn't let him throw a punch. He smothered him with shots from every angle. Um, slick in and out, head movement, speed, power, shot variety. When he, when he took a punch, I don't think he took many, but if he, when he breezed it off like it was nothing. Um, you know, it was, it was mind-blowing, sensational, you know. Uh, for me, the best performance alongside Anui so far that we've seen this season. Um, in a very different way, but it sent, sent, certainly sent a strong message out to, across the pond, you know. Um, that's for sure. I'm sure there'll be uh, a few trainers and a few boxers across the water. Um, looking at looking at that performance and thinking, what? How do we how do we handle that? And um, you know, I think Baranchik's very strong in a different way. Um, sets up a great fight. You know, um, absolutely cracking fight. What more do you want me to say? I, I don't know. We just say, uh, yeah, I was a little bit shocked still. I mean, I, I knew you were good, but you were you were, you were damn good, damn good. Um, <laughs> And, and yeah, I mean, credit for my Ryan Martin. I can't say too much because I think without, you know, I think he, he turned up. I think it was all got to him a bit. I think, um, but it got to him because Taylor put it on him, and he put it on him from the way in yesterday. I could feel the energy coming off him, and, and it was yeah. He was up texting last night. He wanted to change his walkout song. You just tell he was up for a fight. You know, he was like. Let them out the the, the stalls. So uh, pleasure to work with. Pleasure to work with the whole team, and you know, it's uh, super. Thanks, Keller. <laughs> Josh, how are you feeling right now? I'm um, I'm happy. Yeah, very happy with the way that performance went. And thanks for the nice words, Kelly. I'm glad you're happy with the performance. Um, yeah, I just I knew I was going to win the fight. I was expecting a hard 12 rounds because credit to Ryan Martin, he's a very good fighter, he's very strong, he can punch quite hard and he's strong in his defence as well, so credit to him and also thanks for coming over and putting up a good fight. Um, but I was just, I, in all honesty, I never got out of second gear there, it was, um, I was relaxed, I was flowing and um, the fight was easy for me, you know, the distance control, my variety, my variation of punches, was, um, it was easy, I never got out of second gear. Are you surprised by yourself? Um, yeah, no. It's going to be a little bit tougher. Um, but again, I've said all the, I know the build up to this fight that I've been performing the best I have been ever in camp and sparring the best, you know. So I think it proved there in my performance, and uh, you know I'm ready. I'm ready for this next fight against Baranchek, and I'll do the same again. Yeah, your next fight, it's. Uh... It's for the, the final, it's for the, the IBF World Championship, it's yeah. a big fight, it's the tornado against the beast. What can the world expect from that fight? I think that's going to be an all-action fight, you know, um, I saw snippets of the last fight, I've not, I've not saw his fight against Jigget in full, um, but I saw snippets and bits of odd rounds. He looked very strong, very explosive, um, but... Again, I don't, I'm not going to let him get close to me like that to put him off his big shots and let him use his strength like what I did tonight against Brian Martin. He, never, he couldn't get a punch off against me. I was too... My timing, he just couldn't read me. My timing, my speed, my, my distance control, everything was just on song tonight. So if I perform like that um, tonight throughout this tournament, there's nobody, nobody in this division going to beat me. Yeah, you've seen all the fighters perform now. Does this make you dream about the trophy? Yeah, I'm I'm a hundred percent confident. You know, this is um, this is me just getting started. This is me just getting started. Um, I'm relaxed. I'm feeling really confident. I'm coming in more. I'm coming in my prime now. So I'm um, I'm feeling on fire at the minute, and um, I, I really don't think there's anybody going to stop me, especially after that performance. Thanks, Josh and Shane. How happy are you right now? Um, yeah, very happy. Obviously, um, it was a relatively easy fight for us as well. It's something that you know I. 
it's a, it's a massive positive to us uh, moving into the semi-final of this tournament that we don't have too hard of a fight early on. Um, you know, he's, he, he, had, he was everything that he wasn't against Victor Postel there tonight. He was measured, he was disciplined. Uh, he learned so much from that fight against Postel that he took it in and he's got such a different approach to his training, his mindset. He knows you can't give away nothing at, uh, at the world level. And listen, I, I just believe he's going to win the tournament, but also he's the best 140 pounder in the world by, uh, by a long stretch. And this platform has given us the uh, opportunity to, to go out there and prove it in uh, such a short space of time, uh, which is exactly what we've signed up for. And how do you see the matchup against Baranchik? Say that again? How do you see the matchup against uh, Baranchik? <laughs> I can't hear nothing. Um, it's a completely different um, fight than what we've had there tonight, but it's nothing that he hasn't seen. 175 amateur fights, you know, he's had 14 fights now as a professional, he's 12 stoppages. He's the full package. Now, obviously, the sparring will have to be different. Baranchik's a uh, much shorter, uh, stockier, sort of stronger fighter, but, you know, We'll have a game plan and, and we'll uh, make sure we go out there and execute it. Thanks, Shane. And Barry, your words on uh, Josh. Uh, you, know, you, you talk about um, uh, fighters that have innate talent, I and mean, he's the epitome of that. He just has something extra that you can articulate, you can talk about. He just has it. And when he's put in a situation like that, I think Shane hit the nail on the head. The Apostle fight, he didn't have a great performance, his preparation wasn't ideal, but this was ideal. He's now got an apartment down in London, he's comfortable, he goes home when he wants to, Danielle comes down or his mum and dad comes down and spend time with him. And you can see the difference because his training camp has been sensational. And honest to God, I, I, he's, he's a terrific fighter, he's just such a natural natural fighter that can respond to things and respond to situations where other fighters just can't do it. And it's uh, it's almost unspeakable. And I, I don't want to exaggerate, but it's the truth. He's an exceptional talent. Thanks, Barry. Let's open the floor.